Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be upgrading the windshield washer nozzles on my Toyota 4Runner. Now, as some of you guys know, the factory windshield wiper nozzles that come on the factory 4Runner here are quite disappointing and pretty pathetic. The pattern is pretty poor when they spray and it doesn't really cover the entire windshield so we're going to go ahead and swap them out. Now usually I recommend going OEM but in this scenario I'm going to actually recommend a Honda product. This here is a Honda nozzle that comes from a Honda Odyssey and it has a much better spray pattern and it should be a direct fit for our Toyota 4Runner. So all we're going to need is two of these and some basic tools and we're going to swap them out. Let's go ahead and get started with the job. Okay we are on the passenger side here and you can see here this is one of the nozzles that is attached to the hood and it's exactly the same on the driver's side but what you're going to want to do is disconnect this hose here and you want to be a little careful because it is old and you want to just work it around. You might want to take a pick and put it in there to try to break it free. I'm going to try to, okay, so there you go. Mine just pulled right out but if yours doesn't pull out, make sure you use a pick. So we're going to put that to the side for a second here and we're going to work on the nozzle now. Okay, so you can see here there's a clip on the top and also on the bottom, and what you're gonna wanna do is depress that so that way the nozzle can come out. So I've got a long flat head here. I'm gonna try first. I'm just gonna depress the top and depress the bottom. And just push it right through. All right, so this thing's pretty much free and you can just push it through from the bottom or you can just grab it from the top, turn it, and it's free. Okay, we've got the part out now. This is the old part here on the left side. Here's the new Honda part. It's exactly the same. Even the fitting looks the same. So the hose should go on and seal, no problem. And you can see this one's just got two jets on it. This one's got just one, but it kind of fans out. And I'll show you guys what that looks like after we get it installed. Here's the top of the hood without the nozzle in. And we're going to clean that a little bit. And then we're going to place the new nozzle in where the factory one went. All right, we've got her all cleaned up and we're gonna go ahead and put in the new nozzle and you're gonna wanna just go in, turn it a little bit until it fits, line it up nice and straight and just push it through. It's not really any adjustments, it just goes in one way and make sure it's pointing towards the windshield. So don't point it that way, that'd be pretty dumb. Okay, we're back under the hood again, and all you gotta do now is take your hose here and just reconnect it to the Honda nozzle. Slide it all the way on, and that should be pretty much it. All right, I got the driver's side out the same way. It's a little bit harder on this side because you can't see, but you should be able to just do it by feel and just pry out the old one. And if you get frustrated, you can maybe even break it if you want to. I mean, it's just a piece of plastic but we're gonna go ahead and put the new one in now. All right, here we go. All right, just reconnect the hose. All right, that pretty much completes the mod. Let's go ahead and take a look at our new nozzles. All right, in the vehicle here, we're gonna do our first test. Let's take a look. All right, so you guys can probably see there, it's shooting a little low, so let's go ahead and go out and adjust it. So it shoots a little higher. All right guys, in order to adjust this, all you're gonna need to do is take your little flat head here that we used earlier and stick it in the bottom here or on top. You can actually twist this to go in and out. So just do it gently. So that way you don't spray it outside the vehicle. And if you wanna go up, you can pry on it a little bit So kind of like that and just do some very fine adjustments and just adjust it to where you want it. And you can do it on the top here as well. You can twist it and you can push it down. See right now it's all the way down and if you want it up a little bit, there you go. And then if you don't want it to shoot this way towards the cars on your passenger side you can try twisting this left and right here 
All right, guys, I was able to adjust it the way I like it. I've aimed it pretty much near the center here, and you can see it now. Sprays right on the windshield wiper here. And you can see it kind of goes everywhere, which is a lot better than the other one. All right, you guys, pretty much done with the job here. As you can see, it works a lot better than the factory one. We're gonna have some pretty clean windshields here. As you can see, my garage is a little bit of a mess right now because I was fine tuning those nozzles. But you can see now we got Honda powered nozzles on this Toyota 4Runner. Well guys, that's just a simple upgrade you can do to your Toyota 4Runner. As always guys, I'm gonna leave links to all the parts that I use down in the video description. So make sure you guys check that out. If you guys have any questions about the mod, let me know down in the video description. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and check out other videos on my channel. And as always guys, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> All right, clearly it's too high.